Hello and welcome back to another episode of Farming Life at La Forge. For those of you who are new here, my name is Laura and this channel is all about our farming lives here in France. In today's episode, we will be giving you a tour of our livestock and also one of my calves that I bought last time is down. Um, he's not getting up, he's not looking well, so we have the vet called out. We think it's paralyzing scour, but we're not too sure yet. So when the vet arrives then, um, I will show you guys whatever it is that's up with them and what we have to do to treat it and then this afternoon and tomorrow i will be going around with dad to show you all of our livestock out in the fields but before we get started i would like to give a massive thank you to jerry6420 for giving me a shout out in his last video and a big thank you to everybody who has subscribed to our channel we have now hit over 1000 subscribers which is just amazing in the past what is it two three months since we started the channel so thank you again to everybody and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe below hit the bell notification so that you don't miss out on any future episodes and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy this video so the vet left about half an hour 40 minutes ago um, the calf has got um, a paralyzing scour or paralyzing diarrhea so right now he is needs a perfusion we have one of these, I don't know if you can see, so it's the bottle, uh, so they are glucose, so to give them energy and sugar, and then this one here is just water, so it's rehydration, and now this one has about five minutes, maybe less, left in it, and I take this out and give them another one of them bottles of glucose. So we are on, oops, we are on our last bottle, so I'm just dripping out slowly so this stops and starts it to make sure that you don't get any air in and that poor calf it's like that his legs are tied onto this board back legs are tied onto the board um there is if you can see that little light there that flips up so if you're not in a shed or anywhere that you can hang a perfusion handy that clips up there's a light so that the vet can see what he's doing and then you can hang the perfusion out of it um i just put it in here instead i'm trying to get that up i just put the cap on it i just have it hanging off of that so it is fine for now Yeah, that's already done wonders for you. Hey. Oh, handsome boy. Handsome boy. <sighs> there you go. So that's that for now for a calf. Check in on him later and give him some of his fluids. So we are just across the road from our main farm, so it's still part of our main farm, just on the other side of one of the main roads. Um, so on this side, we also have some of our wraps for feeding down here. As you can see here beside me, we have the crush. So this is just handy for when we're sorting cattle over here that we don't always have to be bringing them home. And that when we do need to bring things home, like if there's a cow and a calf, um, we can get them into the trailer a lot easier and a lot safer. So we're just going to give you a quick tour now of some of the cattle on our farm. Cows. Uh, was limousine calves at foot. There is a crossbred cow. Uh, the French don't really like them cows, but I like them. But in two or three years' time, we'll just hopefully have all limousine and we want the, the Shirley cow we're on this farm and we continue with it on but now we're going to switch over to limousine but uh, we have done crossbred they call them orangey colour cows quasis uh, down here this is the bull 
boy, he just have them, boy. So that's uh, this bunch of cows. So these are more of our cows here in the field we call November. So three of these cows are going to be going back with the bulls shortly, so we'll be bringing them in soon. And the rest of them are going to be going um, for fattening just because they haven't been taken to the bull as fast as we'd like to. So now we're back on our main farm. So that's just our farm over there in the distance, I don't know if you can see it. So this is our field farm view. So these are some of our freshly calved cows and they're just out here now with one of our younger bulls. So we just put him with them because these ones won't be coming in calf as quick for him. So that's our limousine bull with some more Quasi and Charlie um, mixed cows. There's some cows that not long that long calved. We have put the bull out. The, bull, the bulls are out now for the last two days. So I just find the bull here somewhere. Oh, he's off down there. The aim is to just have all the uh, limousine cows in the next three years. It's very expensive to do an automatic change over because cattle are expensive over here. Just that cow there, she's 10 years old and she still make 2,000. Cow there. This is one of our stock bulls here. We put him with this group because uh, he does uh, any heifers this group have, I want to keep him. The French call them reproductors. So he's a good, a good tall, uh, well-made bull. And he has a good milk strain in him. So any of his heifers would definitely be keeping. So we went to the next batch and show you. Uh, this is the other young bull we bought. Uh, he's uh, just 13 months. Uh, nice bull. We'll be letting him out after dinner now with 11 heifers. That was Emily's pick. The bull Laurie was showing you out the field. I picked him. Uh, there's not much in the difference, just I didn't see this lad's father, and the other lad's father is a super bull. Uh, but the lad we buy our bulls off, he sells 90% of his bulls are exported to Belgium, Holland, even Ireland, England. You pay a bit more, but this is our third bull we have bought from the same fella, and we're very happy. Uh, Laura would be filling with more bulls as out with heifers that's related to him and you'll see why. Here we are, another bunch of heifers. Uh, we put the bull out there yesterday. Uh, 
Uh, we don't. We stop fattening heifers. We just fatten cows. So there is the brother of the bull I showed you in the shed. He's just two years old now. Very quiet. That's them. So we'll be moving them on out of there now Wednesday. Today is Sunday. And because I have the bit of silage yet. And hopefully uh, they'll be all going calf. So we have three bunches here with bulls. So if I get to show you the three of them before it gets dark. Oh, yes. We have calves out of him. They're very good. He's, he hasn't been fed or often. When he's fed, he gets very muscular, so we do keep them in for the summer, the bulls, so they don't get too big and heavy for the heifers. Here's another bunch of heifers, uh, around the same age. So we let the bull out with them as well, yesterday. He's not as beefy a bull, but his, uh, his mother and all, he'd be from a very milky range, so he'd be very good. <laughs> the wild boar. There's a wild boar going across. Don't know if you can see him. Yeah. And the dogs. And the hunt. Uh, they're a bit wild though for that. That's so these here are another batch of heifers and um, the bull has just gone in with them today. So these front one here is with the horns. Um, so these would have been heifers that we bought. So we dehorn all our heifers and then when we buy some we'll have to dehorn these. So when we moved to France all the cattle had horns so they do leave the horns on them. But we like to take them off um, so we dehorn them when they're calves. So we have a machine to dehorn these ones um, with the horns. We'll show you when we're at it, so that'll be a future episode. But we keep all our heifers um, dehorned. However, the ones that we bought here have horns. So these are a bit younger than the last ones. Just gone out with the bull there at the back. So that bull is one of the new bulls that we recently bought. Uh, here's another batch of cows. In for Kevin. Brought them in this morning. I actually, one calved here yesterday evening as well. Nice little calf. Uh, this is our wind scales crush. You can lift up pair of feet do almost anything really it has all these bars on it here you can shove in two safety bars here that clip in and you can wind up the front and the back feet to pair and the winds the wind scales is there in the you know. and it's attached in to a hundred foot crush that we met up with lock and barriers and gates, big heavy French gates, which are very good. And this gate here then closes if you're working on an animal on the back of the crush, so adding this up in the crush won't come up and go on top of you. So we have these spring loaded gates here where we can chain them back. Uh, we put them in. Stop them going back. It's just an old broken tie off the bailer that works as a spring, and it's not worse than they're all coming back on top of you. The bottom of the crush is tapered in to stop smaller cattle turning around. Uh, it'll bring big bulls, big cows, or anything will come up here, but small cattle, uh, big long crush, if they turn around, it's a nightmare. So, um, no, that 
works well, so we have three spring loaded gates on it. We just had them chained back for now. That was an old uh, piece of uh, ring feeder uh, that we put on it. Then we have these wooden steps that fold down. There. Uh, we have them up to stop small calves sticking their head out. And uh, it goes down along here. There's another spring loaded gate. And then we have the backup gate here at the back. Uh, <coughs> I like this crush, really tapers and works really well, I think. So this gate here, you can have cattle that will come in this door from an outdoor pen, or you have this is adjustable gate. You can put in cattle here, like this. And that's a bit too bad. Hay turner that no one will run away with. And then you can swing the cattle in if you want, or you can use the outdoor pen as well. Uh, no, really uh, pleased the way that closes automatic. And it's very safe. Um, this shed we put up. Uh, after the crush, I bought this shed second hand and we took it down and put it up here, it fits in well. There's that piece there that we call that our winter pad and that piece there uh, we usually have in calf heifers, they lie in there and they can go out the field and we can feed them up there with the diet feeder. So that's it, uh, just showing you a bit with the crush, with the cattle and um, if you want to know what else or find out what else, you can just ask Laura. So a quick update on the calf. So he is doing a lot better. Um, it is now three days since his perfusion. So he's still not 100%. Um, we are keeping him on his treatments. Um, so probably a little bit longer than um, the vet had recommended. But he's not 100%. We had tried stopping and he um just kind of was starting to go down again so we started it up again so once again thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it so our next episode is going to be about dad's gadgets so it's just um inventions he has around the farms or things that he made and he is using to um just make your lives a bit easier so i will show you guys them so don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on that and a quick reminder that you can check out my etsy shop in the link below i will leave it in the description um so there are just everything wooden tractors from puzzles to clocks you have wall clock desk clocks um what else do we have ornaments to the christmas tree i'm also going to start doing little dogs so you can get your the shape of your breed of dog with their name on it for the christmas tree and i have celtic knots that are coming up so there's a lot going on thank you to those who have already ordered and i'm also putting my the link to my brother's new website so my brother just released a website there about a week or two ago i think um so it's nut parts so new and used tractor parts dot ie um, you can check out the link below whether you're looking to sell tractor parts that you might have lying around that you don't need or if you are looking to buy any parts you can check out that website as well so thanks again for watching and see you next time don't forget to like the video thanks for watching